Sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need we are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome here in New Orleans. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. bit off a, a pretty decent game brings up second and four Derek Henry there's the stiff arm and he goes out right around the 39 I remember watching Derrick Henry come out of Alabama and sitting with some scouts and one of the debate points with him was while at Bama how often did he have to deal with contact near the line of scrimmage? They were so good up front that he often got to the second level pretty easily. I think he's starting to answer those questions with runs like that. He's a physical, physical guy. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. It's second and eight at the 41-yard line. On the counter, it's Henry. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Jonathan Jones. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Two are going to hold on to it. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 26. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Big Eddie Goldman there on the tackle. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Tua. They set up the screen for Henry. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Derek Henry. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. The score, Panthers 7, Saints nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. At their own 21-yard line. A first carry now for Chase Edmonds. A pass the 25 to the 26. A gain of five. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up the touchdown. There's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. 
We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. On second down, this is Edmonds. to the Panthers 21 yard line a big time play there for New Orleans give him 42 yards on the ground back to the ground on first down Edmonds and he is met at the line of scrimmage and he goes down right there no gain, no gain on the play it'll be second down so after the run for no gain here's second and ten From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. That was J.J. Watt getting in there and getting him to the ground. Third down. Play action now, Cousins. Strong coverage by Cousins. He was all over that route defensively. Now, they had two picks last week as a unit. Couldn't quite grab that one. Patience, Grasshopper. Patience. <laughs> early in this game, but you like the fact that they're around the football early. They're going to be upset they didn't haul that one in, but at least they're there at the moment of truth to make a play on it. By the way, where did the Grasshopper thing come from? I know it's been around for a long time. But... Yeah, you know, I'll have to tell you that some other time. All right, back to football. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Throw on second down here. Trying to get it to Jackson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Barry Wagner. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful to get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage. And then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast. But guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. To throw again on second down. Cousins. And he finds the tight end, Reed. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. 30-yard line. Now Cousins. They'll get this underneath to Edmonds. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked by Trayvon Moore. job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out okay where is he going with the football because you can make an educated guess defensively not all the time but sometimes and when you're right you get a decent chance of coming away with the football give him seven on the play and it'll be a second down it's a gain of seven brings up second now an option play on second down this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The tackle made. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. I think you mentioned.
mentioned in the opening drive that these guys needed to establish the run, protect the young QB. Actually broke that down, believe it or not. So how would you assess things so far? I'm kind of touched that you actually wrote something like that down. I appreciate that, partner. But I do think they've been able to do that. Maybe not as effectively as they wanted to, but I think we'll see more of as this game goes along because they want to continue to take care of that young QB. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Tua. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. They go play action. Cousins. Picked in the air. Intercepted. Picked off by Khalil Mack. And he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line. They are in an interception mood on defense. Had two nice interceptions a week ago. Now two here in the first half. Yeah, we call it ball hawking. And the only way to truly be good ball hawks is not guessing. It's not just simply anticipation. It's study and understanding what they like to do and beating them to the spot and creating big plays. Well, they're watching the film, and it's working. Tua wants to throw it on second down. Eluding the pressure right. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Flush to his right. Catch is made by Marquise Brown. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Throwing now is Tunga by Loa. Now they go screen. It's complete. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Flushed out right. Oh, Tunga going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by the linebacker Bobby Wagner. So that. Back-to-back -back drive CD that have ended with an interception. Now, I don't know about you, but I'd call my quarterback over, put an arm around him, and say, hey, take a look at the scoreboard. We're playing with a lead. Let's be smarter about what we're doing out there. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. The last run got six, now second and four. Cousins. Out to the left here to Reed. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards to pick up. First down. They're going for Jefferson downfield. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Third, the last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. They'll throw again. Cousins. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. 
They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. So left side is complete to Reed. And now going to get this beyond the 40 before it's taken down. So we've reached halftime with just the lone touchdown here. 7-0 is our score. As we send you on over to our left. Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. The Saints going to go on offense first, and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And this will make it into the end zone. Touchdown for the Panthers. So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And this is no good. Missed the PAT, so they fail to connect, and this remains a 13-0 game. Harrison Butker is set to kick off. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And this will make it into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. First and 10 at their own 22 yards. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Again, they run with Edmonds. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Just a continuation of what we saw in the first half. So much for the fresh start to begin the third quarter. Still off target throws, no rhythm throwing the football, and obviously no touchdown scored in this game. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a real tough one for them to swallow. Will they make up for it? take this one across the 45 up to about the 46 yard line still a couple yards short of the first as the three yard gain brings up a third down they keep it on the ground this time it's Henry and Henry fighting for the marker but I don't think he got there he did not just a one yard pick up there and it'll be fourth down and how about this one now in their own territory a gutsy call they're going to go for this on fourth and a yard They'll run. It's Henry. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Carolina. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. pass over the middle into zone coverage and it bit him hard and what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot gotten their heads back around and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them and they took big advantage of it went the other direction excellent blocking and picked up a touchdown 
fielded near the back of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this one. I think that you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah. in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Paul Warlow in to make the tackle. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the gun, it's Tua. Caught by Jackson and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. It's a game. That certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, and hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A gain of two. Bring two will get a throw. Diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. 11 yards there. First down. A gain of 11 on the play. First down, Carolina. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. On the right side, this is Austin with a catch. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Austin. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. At the 20 yard line. Back to the ground now, Tim. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. This is Henry. First down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. First and goal, Carolina. And they'll try the option on first and goal. To a fast pass outside complete. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. The Panther offense stay in put. They'll go for two. Tua sets up to pass it. This will be caught at about the five. And he is going to lose yardage here. The score, Panthers, 19. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Taken about seven yards deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Saints take over first and 10. At their own. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it has a work to something else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players. And maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. They'll run with Edmonds. And he's only able to work this from the 8 to the 10 for a pickup of 2. The Saints on third down, 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and a mile. A 
Another carry now for Edmonds. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. But they got off the field on third down. An excellent job, an excellent defensive series. We always talk about adjustments, and usually only at halftime. But the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires. And now the football is going to go over, already being placed at the 15-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Tua. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. At the Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and now they've got it first and goal. Looking to pass to it. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Marquise Brown with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is it bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff position? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? Cyrus Jones on the return. The Saints take over first and ten at their own 21-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Makes it second and 10 at the 21-yard line. the gun. Here's Cousins. And he get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A gain of seven. Brings up third. Third and short yardage. Cousins going up top. And it's caught inside the 30. Touchdown. New Orleans. Chase Edmonds. His second touchdown on the season. And the Saints get a bit closer. You gotta understand situational football because they're playing with the lead here late in the ball game. So the back defender has got to be as deep as the deepest receiver. Keep everything in front of you, rally up and make the play. Yeah, you would think they had the three score lead. Now it's down to two, but three score lead here late. That they wouldn't give up a big pass play like that, but they did. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. And they bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Derek that one, a first down pickup of eight. The tackle made by Kevin Byard. Henry. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Brent, that's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. A shotgun handoff to Henry. Well, I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12. At the Saints. They'll run it again with Henry. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 
It's a pickup of three, and we have now arrived at the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And now it hits Austin. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. A gain of seven. But it's fourth to it on fourth down. And he's got his tight end. That's Smith. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. That one a backbreaker as they wind up converting there on fourth. Here's a first down throw. It's complete. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second and six at the 20-yard line. That one looks like he'll throw here. Campbell making the catch. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. Five yards on the play. Third and one, and two wants to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off down at the 10. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. change that channel just yet this one may have gotten a bit more interesting put down the remote put down the clicker this one looked like it was over it looked like they were ready to seal the deal but in doing so by pitching it around a little bit it cost them we could have a great finish closure there as it's intercepted it's Devin Bush the linebacker who picks it he's at the 50 he's at the 30 20 and he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. Charles, they get the onside kick. They do need a touchdown here, but they've got some time to do it. In the excitement, there's no need to press. Plenty of time. They have the opportunity. Now they just need to execute and finalize things. He's going to let it fly. And incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Continued receiver there, the rookie Chase Claypool. That'll bring up second down. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. play great job defensively to get the pick and seal it and we know that every play during a game matters you're never sure which one's going to be one of the key ones but at the end of the game when you analyze it three four five plays are going to be the ones you focus on and that last play was one of them the last shot had to take it and they came up with the interception and sealed their victory so for the Panthers, they move back over 500 now at 4-3. And, and they'll head back home next week to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Meanwhile, for the Saints, the loss here will move them back to 500 at 3-3. Three and, three. and they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at Soldier Field with the Chicago Bears.
Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Couldn't take an answer, we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hair in the clock. Come like a bat of the hell, I dare you to cross like a revenant. My energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a pair in a mess. You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Oh, uh, you ain't scary to me. Heard you was a leader, but that ain't scary to me. The cross on you, a cheater, but I'm a bad man on the scene. I finish like Vegeta Prince, and I'm an heir to the sea. I mean, for real. Tessa got a song, so I don't even got the will. Hands around my chest, but it don't mean a man is free. I'm just a money man, I mean a couple mil. Cause I feel like Uncle Phil and all his losers think the freshman ain't half a man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Couldn't take an answer, we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hair in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Couldn't take an answer, we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hair in the clock. Just like the hands on the clock, I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. But they mad they don't want to bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go lose, and then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. I hate to break a bone me and myself, top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot soup. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down could be. I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. Take a pic, told them all you went first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'm not for that cash to my money.
the toe designer, designer, drill, little bit, little bit, little bit, uh, let me feel myself a little bit, let me do it, little bit, little bit, little you ain't talking big, get out my way, little bit. Way, little bit, I can't hear the hate, got a lot of it, lot of take these bands to the bank, let them rock in it, so much nice on me, I wish I had two next, I got homies that can sleep without two, I got homies that can sleep without two, Come pop it for me cause I'm rich and poppin' in Yeah, drill, little bit, little bit Uh, let me feel myself a little bit Little bit, little bit, you ain't talking big Get out my way, little bit She gon' put it on me, that's a lot of it Four coops, four season, drop the top of it Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of I got both my girls, head to toe, designer Drill, little bit, little bit Macho macho with a t- rocking black clothes Whip around that Batmobile, ducking 5 If you step to me, then be prepared for smoke, little bro uh, Let me feel myself a little bit uh, Let me blow this down a little bit Drill, little bit, little bit uh, Let me feel myself a little bit Little bit, little bit, you ain't talking big Get out my way, little bit Talking to roll up that Sinatra, fly the mama to the moon. 